I'm Samit and uh, this is Dave and we are the current maintainers of the Slend MIDE and uh, he's going to show his slides first and then I'm going to quickly show a demo and hopefully we won't keep you long and you can, we can all run and catch the lightning talk. So we'll do a lightning track B talk here. Okay, thank you. Um, so yeah, just basically, um, first of all, just some stats. Um, IDE is still uh, very popular. Um, we've got some uh, download counts for recent versions. Uh, 141 was downloaded over 240,000 times. 150, 275,000. And 160, 312,000. Um, this is probably increased with 171, 172, and 173, but um, we don't have the full stats for that at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's just really to show you that the usage is still growing for Selenium IDE, and it's, it's very strong. Um, we do have a roadmap for what we hope to add to IDE. Um, feel free to go along. It's a collaborative etherpad, um, so you can add your own thoughts. Um, and you can add your own kind of priorities also if you wanted to um, essentially vote for any of those features. Uh, 180 will be released tomorrow. There's not a great deal new um, Firefox 12 support. Um, other than that, I, I think there might be one or two bug fixes in there. Uh, but it is available now if you wanted to test it. Uh, so this bit.ly link uh, is the release candidate which is essentially what I will release tomorrow, um, assuming there's no issues. Uh, the next release will have support for running against a remote server, thanks largely to Samit. Um, and this also allows us to do uh, Selenium emulation in WebDriver. So you'll be able to execute your IDE tests against uh, WebDriver. Um, so yeah, watch, watch for official announcements on the release of that. Um, it is soon to be um, added to the trunk. Uh, we'll have a beta release also fairly soon after that. And with the current release schedule, it'll probably be about six weeks or so. Uh, we tend to release just before a new Firefox release. Uh, also check Samit's blog for an announcement where he also document the new feature. Um, for future versions, we really want to uh, to get feedback from people who are actually using IDE. So please uh, let us know what kind of stuff you use in the IDE and what stuff you want to see. You can either go to the roadmap, find myself or Samet, um, or we have weekly meetings in uh, hash or pound Selenium IDE on Freenode. Uh, they're on uh, they're Thursdays at 2 p.m. UTC. And basically what happens in those, uh, myself and Another contributor for IDE, Leo Laskin, who uh, isn't here, unfortunately, but um, uh, we triage the bugs that have come in in the last week. We prioritize them. We come up with, uh, uh, we, we, we decide who's going to take what action items. And then just after a release, we decide what kind of things are going to be high priority for the next release. Uh, so if you, want, if you want to be involved in any of those discussions, feel free to come along. Yeah, um, Leo and uh, Dave do a really great job. They prioritize, discuss, and you know, plan what, what is actually going to go in the next version of IDE. Uh, I've never really joined you, have you? No, I, I plan no. to join as well. So there will be three of us, and you know, hopefully some of you as well. And we, we've only really been maintaining it now since yeah. November last year when Adam Goucher stepped down as the uh, maintainer. He still wants to be involved, so he's, he's, we're still sort of looping him in. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's only been a short while. Mm. So yeah, that's, that's my slide, uh, that's me done, so over to cool. Simon. Uh, thank you very much, I think I'll hand this big mic down over to you. Thank you. Uh, you can use it for weight lifting, yeah? <laughs> okay guys, uh, I don't know, uh, I think we have been talking too much, I want, uh, I don't, I'm not a very talkative person, so I would like uh, to ask you some questions first. How many of you actually use the IDE? Oh, brilliant. We do have users. I'm impressed. I thought that in the Selenium conference, no IDE user actually turns up. And even if they do, they don't tell us that they use the IDE. Well, it's really good to know that uh, we still have some people here who use it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's because of you guys that we really keep developing it. So thank you for coming here and telling us. And what we really want is for you guys to tell us, what do you want? Because unless you tell us what you want, we cannot do anything. So please feel free to tell us, give us your comment, and we'll really appreciate it. 
I'm going to log you out, Dave. I created a few slides, but I'm going to go through them with lightning speed at one slide per second. Can I do it? Nah, I don't think so. I'm too slow. We could do it via, via Selenium. Ah, anyway, for those of you who need to contact me, my blog and my Twitter, I heard today morning it's really cool to <laughs> show you the Twitter guys, so go for it. And yeah, we are really awesome. The Selenium community as a whole is really awesome. Uh, those of you who didn't hear about it, Simon said today morning that we have 1.5 million Ruby downloads. That's really awesome. 1.5 million is totally awesome. I was really impressed to hear from Dave. He actually did all this cool analysis on all those logs uh, and has been trying to find out numbers of how many ID users are actually there. And believe me when I tell you, I am really surprised that there are at least a quarter million users. Every time we release a new version of ID. I thought this would be like the whole so far, you know, but it is every version. And he just told me, you know, just five minutes before we walked in that 1.6 actually has more than 300,000. Yep. Wow. I'm impressed. So a lot of people really use it. And you also saw Builder. Actually, I think you didn't see it because Adam really didn't give us a demo, but uh, I would encourage you to have a look at that. And yeah. Uh, he's done a great job. Have a look, see, tell us what would you like. We really like feedback. So tell us what you want and where you want us to go and we will hopefully take you there. One of the key things that I keep telling people is we have plugins and what Adam showed me is that they have plugins as well. They just don't tell you about it. But yeah, we have plugins and there are some really cool plugins and I really, I wrote most of them. Yeah, I should know. I think they're really cool. And I do have people telling me all the time that they feel that they improve their work life because of it and they save a lot of time. And you know, the recent one, I think I have a review on Firefox AMO site where someone says it's, it, it's really small, but it really helps us. So we use it a lot. Uh, it's, it's great to hear things like that. <coughs> awesome plugins. If you haven't found them already, most of, the, most of them are listed here. And of course, you can directly go to Firefox, AMO Firefox website and search for Selenium and you'll see tons of it. Should I tell them about this guy who kind of copied my Selenium expert and created 15, 18 copies of it? Well, there were a you lot more, but apparently that was taken away. So <laughs> now they are a bit less, but now they are relevant ones. So you can find a lot of them and go there, have a look. And of course, Google helps. We all know that, don't we? They help in more ways than we know of. Well, uh, what I really wanted to tell you is we have WebDriver playback now, which means you need to start up a Selenium server because the Selenium server is what we are using to run your tests. It's really simple. You just type Java minus jar, Selenium server, and yeah, it's really simple. I won't show you how to do that today, but grab me if you need to see how to do that. And you just run your uh, scripts. It's business as usual. Your tests run. The only thing is now they run using a web driver on another browser. Cool thing, no conversion required. You can just run your test as it is. OK, I'm lying there. Am I not? Well, most of your tests would run without conversion. And this means even if you're using loop and go to, they would still run without conversion. But if you are running your own uh, JavaScript, for example, run well, they may or may not run. We hope it would run without changes, but if they are not working, ping us and we'll help you to run it. No new commands to learn either, so you can still use all your Selenium commands and we have managed to convert all of them. They would just run. Yeah. Cool thing, if you ever wanted Internet Explorer, yes, you get it now. Your test can run it. If you want Chrome, Safari, they would run there too. Or even if you have a new shiny iPad. Well, if someone wants to give me one of the new shiny iPad, I would love it. You know, but make sure your tests run green on it first before you hand it over to me. I was expecting a laugh. Thank you. I appreciate that as well. Cool. 
Uh, the debugger in Selenium also works. So if you are using web driver playback, it's not like it's not going to work. It's just going to work. You can put a breakpoint. You can put a start point. It can pause. You can resume. All of it just works. Yeah, many plugins also work. I tested it myself. They do. Especially if you use one of my power debugger plugins, they work. My file logger plugin, it works. Highlight element doesn't work, nor does page coverage or screenshot on fail, but I'm working on it. They would all work. Yeah, is this for real? I've been kidding you, it doesn't work at all. <laughs> Let's see, moment of truth. This is the time when Murphy's Law states that all demos fail. Uh, okay, I have my server, I have my internet connection. I'm going to launch up my Firefox, Google Docs can go. Can go. Well, uh, let's let him ID. Uh, if it looks a bit different, that's because I have all my plugins installed and it changes the interface a bit. So you have lots of those extra icons. So if you haven't tried my plugins, go ahead, try them. So uh, yeah, let me just quickly load up a test. Mm. The simplest test, you know, I'm just going to open a page and verify one small. In this case, it's Wikipedia. I'm going to run it. Work, work, work. <laughs> Key thing, it's web driver. It's opened a new browser and it's all testing and it all works. Are you impressed? Thank you. What about IE? Okay, let's do that as well. Oh God, you guys are difficult to please, aren't you? Before someone tells me that we need to make a list here, I know. Okay, I'm going to run this. That's Internet Explorer, and it still works. Let's do something a bit more complicated. I'm going to store some stored variables. Now, this is all funky bit. And if you see there, there is an eval command there as well. This is thanks to Shanti. He was trying to be really difficult and says, no, it's not going to work. OK. Uh, should we try it in Internet Explorer? That's always been a bit quirky, so let's, let's do that. Thank you. Very well. Uh, what I also want to so, uh, show you is, if you don't know, I've written a stored variables plugin. And as you can see, it actually manages to show all the contents of the stored variables I've created, even though this is running using WebDriver. So everything that used to work should basically work just as usual. Uh, I'm going to run this test one more time, but I'm going to kind of Create a breakpoint over here. I'm going to clear the lock. It helps. I just want to show you that you know creating breakpoints works. I'm going to kill this guy here. Yeah. If you see, we have already gone into the step mode, and now if I press on the resume button, I can continue with my test. Yeah, so uh, yeah, that was what's coming to IDE. Hopefully in the next version. We do need um, yeah. your feedback though. So we're yeah. gonna get a, a beta out uh, soon, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. And, yeah, indeed. Uh, yeah, watch, the, um, watch Summit's blog and watch for yeah. official announcements as well. Yeah, we do need you to tell us what you think, what you need. We don't really use the ID. We are just doing it for you. So tell us. And there are still a lot of challenges that we need to face. But we want you to, to go ahead and try this out and tell us. And I, I think you would like it. I think it's awesome. What do you think? It's very cool. Thanks. Thank you very much, guys. We open now for questions.
Do you need to shut the browser after each test when using the web driver? For this demo, yes. Uh, whether you really want to do it when you're running your tests, maybe, maybe not. Uh, the way I see it is I currently leave the browser open for effect because if the browser closes, you won't see what it did. So that's why I leave it open. But we can close it. And uh, currently, we also run a new browser for every test case that is run. But we can simply give you options so you decide how you want the behavior to be, whether you want to reuse the same instance, whether you want to create a new instance, or whether you want to set after you are done. It's all can be chosen. So it would be basically options that you can configure how your test run is going to be. Uh, but we want you to tell us what, what is the default behavior you would like. So tell us. And second question, are you looking at breaking it out to be a standalone application? No. It just uses web drivers to run everything? Just uses web driver on the back, yeah. No, no standalone application. This okay, is going so to be it's it. Always going to be in Firefox. Indeed, uh, may not be in Firefox, but it will always be in some browser. So let's see what the future holds. We might decide that okay, we will give you this as part of Internet Explorer. Probably not. Probably Chrome or maybe Safari. But yeah, it will always be part of some browser that you can use. But I prefer Firefox. I like Mozilla. Any other questions? Is there a way to uh, create a test within a test? Let's have you record it as well. Sure. Is there a way to call a test within a test? Ah, interesting question. Someone did ask, someone asked uh, this question, tweeted this question to me earlier. Uh, no, we are not going to do it. Are we? I don't think so. No, we, we're never going to do it. No. Having said that, there's something cool coming up. Uh, I was once toying with a BDD-related plugin, where my idea was you can do all that given uh, when, then, and stuff. Um, so this is kind of a new interface. So instead of having a test suite, you have test scenarios. And in that test scenarios, the steps can be implemented using individual test cases. Um, I stopped working on it to give you web driver feedback, uh, playback, but when I go back onto it, yes, you should be able to use a same test case several times if that's what you need. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, but as part, as a core part of Selenium ID, it's never going to come. You will never have something that says call and your script. No, never. Yeah. There are reasons for that, and uh, let's take it offline. Why? But, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Last chance. Questions? You don't have anything to ask. Come on. Think of something. The weather is always a good choice. Okay. We're done here. We're done. Thank you very much, guys. Well, let's go enjoy the talks. Yeah.